This is Mathematics Alive, and our lesson for today is Logic Patterns. Abstract reasoning tests involve logic patterns. It requires flexible learning, creativity, judgment, and logical problem solving. It also requires examinees to recognize patterns, similarities, or differences between a given sequence of figures. This measure of reasoning is independent of educational and cultural background. The questions involve the identification of the underlying logic of a pattern and determining the solution. One's abstract reasoning ability is an accurate indicator of his general intellectual ability. Abstract reasoning tests commonly used by employers, universities, and other institutions in application processes. They assess your ability to understand complex concepts and assimilate new information. Abstract reasoning skills can be improved through practice. One can learn and practice strategies, get familiar with logical rules, that define sequences of figures. One kind of abstract reasoning test is finding patterns. Which figure will continue the pattern? Observe the question figure. We have in figure A, a triangle with a small circle inside. Then in the next figure, the circle is enlarged and we have a new figure inside, a rectangle. In figure C, the rectangle is enlarged and we have a new figure inside, a triangle. Then in figure D, the triangle is enlarged and we have a new figure inside, a window or a cathedral window. So we expect that in the next figure, the cathedral window will be enlarged and there will be a new figure. And the answer is number four. Which figure will continue the pattern? We have here a stick dog. And if we observe the movement of the tail, the tail is moving in a clockwise direction. So it is going down in a clockwise direction so we expect that in the next figure the tail will be downward and the answer is number two which figure will continue the pattern we have here a square and there is a small circle here which moves in a clockwise direction so we expect that after figure d the circle will be in this corner and the x is moving in a counterclockwise direction and so we expect that after letter d the x will be in this corner and the answer is number four completion of a pattern is another type of abstract reasoning test. Which figure will complete the pattern? So we have here a whole figure and then there is a missing part. So we observe the, the pattern in the figure and there is a um, vertical line of symmetry. So expect that whatever is on the right side will be reflected on the left side and the only figure that fits and uh, fits the reflection is letter A. Which figure will complete the pattern? So the question figure has a missing uh, square here. And we expect that the whole figure will complete the circle. And there will be a triangle here which will be, um, which will have symmetry with the triangle on the 
left side, left side, lower corner. So the answer will be letter D. Draw a figure that will complete the pattern. So in row one, there is a missing figure. So we will observe the row two and row three because they have a complete pattern. And let's observe the colors, the shading of the circles. We have gray, black, and white. And in the third figure, we have black, white, and gray. So uh, we expect that the figure in the middle of the first row will be a, a gray circle. And then let's observe also the movement of the arrow. The arrow on the second row is moving in a clockwise direction and the approximate degree of movement is about um, 135 degrees. So we expect also that the same movement will happen in the first row. And this is the answer. Another type of abstract reasoning test is analogy, a comparison from uh, one pair to another pair. So x is to y as z is to a missing figure. There is a comparison from x to y. So we will observe what is that aspect that is being compared. So one portion of x is shaded with a light shade. And then the rest of uh, the portion of the, the circle is not shaded. And in figure y, the unshaded portion in figure X is now shaded with a dark shade. So we expect that uh, in figure C, we have um, a part which is not shaded. So the partner or the figure that will be uh, the answer will have a shaded portion on this part. So the answer is letter A. Another analogy question. We have a triangle here with a downward arrow and it is paired to a square with an upward arrow. And then in the second pair, we have a hexagon with an upward arrow, and it will be paired with a missing figure. And we will be choosing here. So what is the missing figure? So this is upward. So we expect that the answer will be downward. So we will be choosing between letter A and letter C. But as we observe from figure one and figure two, the triangle has three sides, and then the, the next figure, which is um, a, a square, has four sides, and it follows the upward, upward the arrow, and uh, it seems to indicate that there is an increase in the number of sides. So, uh, we expect that um, the next figure in figure number four, where there is a downward arrow, and it will be one less in terms of the number of sides. So we have here six, and the number of sides of the next figure should be five. The number of sides is being decreased as indicated by the arrow. So the answer is letter C. Another analogy question. We have uh, a figure here, the first pair, 
um, from the first figure to the second, we have a movement, a clockwise movement, and there is a rotation of 90 degrees. So it is being compared to the next pair, and we expect also a rotation of 90 degrees in the next figure here from this figure. So the answer is number one. Here are some tips to answer abstract reasoning tests. Compare each factor between images and information. Factors here include the size, position, color or shades, angles, movement, numbers, and others. Identify certain rules between them. So can you identify the rules between the arrows here? What is the position of the arrow in the missing figure? So if we observe the first draw, we have an arrow which is moving in a clockwise manner. And then second row, it is also move me, moving in a clockwise direction. And each one, it moves 45 degrees. So we expect that in the third row, it will, boom, it will be moving in the clockwise direction and it will also move 45 degrees. And the answer is letter D. We have another figure here. Complete the figure below. If we look at the whole figure, there is a symmetry in the figure. So the missing part should be this figure to complete the symmetry. Abstract reasoning tests follow logic patterns. To build your abstract reasoning powers, here are three tips. Practice, practice, practice. For my next video, I will discuss geometric patterns. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.